Thank you for tuning in to your daily Wallops weather briefing. Seeing some partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies out there this morning. Clouds will be increasing this afternoon and especially this evening as we have our next uh, weather maker approaching the area. We are going to be seeing some scattered showers start to develop late this evening, mainly after midnight and then persisting into the morning hours of tomorrow. Taking a look at our surface analysis across the region, do we have this very weak cold front depicted on the surface map here? Not expecting that to have really any impact at all on our weather except shifting the winds to a more northwesterly, and even that will be brief as uh, it is going to settle south of the area, and then we'll see those winds shift uh, more southeasterly as we go later into the day today. But uh, once we get those winds shifting northwesterly, we are going to be seeing those temperatures warm up to near 70 degrees today um, at Wallops, and then likely seeing temperatures in the low 70s across the more warmer interior portions of the Delmarva. And then we'll be seeing a piece of energy right along that front as it, we go into this evening into tonight. And uh, as that front remains uh, kind of south of the area, and you can kind of see that uh, energy starting to bring some shower activity over Illinois earlier this morning. That's going to continue to expand eastward, giving us uh, some showers and perhaps a chance of a thunderstorm early tomorrow morning. Take a quick look at our satellite uh, this morning. As you can see, we are seeing uh, some mostly sunny skies across much of Virginia and uh, the southern two-thirds of the Delmarva this morning. We will be seeing these areas of mid-level cloudiness start to slowly drop southward, and uh, that will help to uh, give us increased cloud cover across the Wallops region as we go later into today. And then seeing uh, these thicker clouds over west of the Appalachians start to come over to our area as we go into this evening. Take a brief look at our upper level winds this morning, seeing the westerly wind just above the surface at around uh, 25 to 35 knots, and then uh, increasing around 45 knots at the uh, 6,000 to 12,000 foot level. Then seeing those winds shift a little more northwesterly above 12,000 feet, uh, 58 knots at the 16,000 foot level, and then uh, close to 100 knots at the 25,000 foot level, seeing our freezing level this morning just above 10,000 feet. For today, going to be looking at a high temperature of 68 degrees, running about 10 degrees above average for this time of year. Winds were from the west-southwest from 8 to 13 knots. They will shift northwesterly late this morning and into the early afternoon hours. And then we will be seeing those winds actually become uh, fairly light and variable around 4 to 9 knots towards the mid-afternoon. And then uh, we will be seeing them shift more easterly as we go into the this evening, um, then becoming southeasterly after midnight around 8 to 13 knots and gusty, and then increasing a little bit um, as we go towards sunrise Saturday morning. We are expecting a very mild low tonight of around 51 degrees. Taking a look at our terminal forecast for today, we are going to be seeing uh, those clouds increase as we go towards this afternoon, uh, mainly in the mid-levels. Going to be seeing, uh, right now just seeing a few clouds at 7,000 feet scattered at 25,000. Going to be seeing uh, those 7,000 foot clouds disappear and then be replaced by some clouds near 3,000 feet this afternoon as those uh, mid-level clouds increase and lower. Once we get into this evening after 10 p.m., going to be seeing a few clouds near 3,000 feet scattered at 6,000, overcast at 10,000, and then um, seeing some lower clouds once we start to get into any shower chances, which should, which could start around 8 p.m., but it looks more likely we'll start to see those showers uh, increase after midnight tonight and then becoming likely between 4 a.m. and 8 a.m. Uh, with ceilings uh, between about uh, 1,000 and 2,500 feet, possibly as low as 500 feet if we get into any uh, heavier showers or perhaps an isolated thunderstorm. But right now, only looking about a 15% uh, chance of seeing an embedded thunderstorm between 4 a.m. and 8 a.m. Currently still seeing tides one half to one foot above normal along the Delmarva Atlantic coast. Take a look at some weather models here. We are going to be starting off with our short-term weather model to show you how those showers are going to be developing across the region tonight. This is 10 p.m. tonight. You'll start to see some showers uh, developing across northern Virginia. And then as this wave continues to progress eastward, uh, we'll start to see shower chances uh, after about 8 p.m. Any shower chances between 8 p.m. and midnight, I think, are going to be uh, very isolated and light. But then once we get past midnight, we'll see those showers really start to expand across the region and possibly become moderate to maybe even briefly heavy once we get into the uh, pre-dawn hours of Saturday. Uh, you can see some heavier uh, returns here on this um, future radar product. And uh, that uh, could be indi 
indicative of some uh, potential for thunderstorms. But right now, it looks like uh, we're not going to be seeing too much instability. Um, so uh, that's why we only have a 15% chance of a thunderstorm this evening. Take a look at our longer range model here. Um, there's that wave that's going to give us those showers uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, the European does have a little bit more rainfall than any of the other models for our uh, showers tomorrow morning. So uh, that'll be something to keep an eye on as we go into the first half of the day tomorrow. But it does look like things will dry out once we get to the afternoon. But um, I am expecting uh, some low cloudiness tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be pretty socked in uh, even once those showers are done tomorrow afternoon. So not expecting really any sunshine tomorrow. It is going to be cooler as well. Temperatures only getting into the um, upper 50s to near 60, um, maybe even a little cooler than that right along the immediate coast. But once we go on to Sunday, we'll see this front start to lift northward and kind of be in the warm sector of this low pressure system that's moving across the uh, northern Midwest. That's going to really help to warm things up with a good southwesterly flow. And uh, we are expecting those temperatures to be in the upper 70s across Wallops and in the lower 80s across the more interior, warmer portion of the Delmarva. So looking at a very beautiful Sunday across the region. Good day to get to uh, out in the backyard. And as we go into Sunday afternoon, we are seeing this uh, cool front start to approach the area, but it looks like all the models are showing it's really going to fall apart as it approaches the uh, mid-Atlantic coast. Can't rule out a 20% chance of an isolated pop-up shower or perhaps a thunderstorm, but um, chances are looking very, very low with that. Not seeing a whole lot of cool air behind this, so as we go into our day Monday, we're going to see some weak high pressure build across the area and still seeing a pretty, a fairly warm day temperatures in the upper 60s across the region. Tuesday is looking fairly nice as well. Uh, we are going to start off the day partly cloudy to perhaps even mostly sunny. And then we're going to see this low pressure system start to track across the south on Tuesday. And that's going to uh, increase our cloudiness as we go into Tuesday afternoon, becoming overcast by Tuesday evening. Maybe even seeing a slight chance of an isolated shower um, just after sunset on um Tuesday evening, and as we go on Tuesday night, we'll see our rain chances increase as this low departs off the Carolina coast. It does look like it's going to start to move up um, more northeastward, and that will help to continue rain shower chances throughout the day on Wednesday, and it's also going to bring in a little bit more of a, some slightly chillier air across the region. As we go into uh, this Thursday and Friday next week, we're going to see high pressure start to build again across the southeast. That'll help to give us some... Uh, very pleasant conditions, remaining dry with temperatures um, pretty close to seasonable averages. So taking a look at our seven-day forecast here, going to be looking at uh, mostly cloudy skies this afternoon with a uh, high near uh, 68 degrees and taking looking at a mild low tonight of 51. Tomorrow we're going to be looking at a, a high of 60. Uh, high temperature tomorrow is a little tricky as it's going to really depend on if we get into um, any sunshine maybe popping through or exactly what the wind direction is going to be. So uh, right now looking at 60, but uh, could be seeing cooler than that if we remain uh, too socked in throughout the entire day. But it does look like we're going to be seeing some good chances of scattered showers in the morning tomorrow, as well as about a 15% chance of an isolated thunderstorm. Um, it does look like that will be mainly between about um, 4 and 8 a.m., like we mentioned earlier. For Sunday, like I said, it's going to be a beautiful day. It's seeing that very mild low of 55, high of 79 with uh, even warmer temperatures across the interior, seeing a, just that slight chance of a p.m. shower or thunderstorm. Then we go on to Monday, we'll still see a very pleasant day under partly cloudy skies, high of 68, still seeing a pretty a mild low for Monday morning of 55. And then as we go into Tuesday, going to be seeing a, a fairly seasonable day, low of 44, high of 57, uh, partly cloudy early with uh, increasing cloudiness with isolated shower chance late. Wednesday is going to be um, cloudy and socked in with the rain pretty much throughout the day, I think. High only getting up to around 52 degrees, and then we'll have some high pressure building back into the area for Thursday, helping to give us a, a partly sunny day with a very seasonable high temperature of 57 degrees. That'll do it for your daily extended weather brief.